start by letting us know that life is not meant for experiments or for just mere existence. You are not alive on a journey of experiments. You are not alive, alive to just exist, to live and die and go. You are alive to live. What does it mean? What's the difference between living and existing? To exist means to just live like an animal. Nobody cares about the death of an animal. That is existence. You live without a memorial. You live without anything to be remembered for. You live and die. Nobody cares. That is existence. But to live means to be alive. And after you are alive, you are still alive. Did you hear what I said? Someone is saying, how can I be alive? And after alive, I am still alive. It is possible to be alive even after your death. There are those who die and go. But there are those who die and live. That even after death, their legacy speaks for them. They live in the hearts of men. They live in the memory of men. They live living, living a life of impact in the sand of time and eternity. So it takes understanding to live life to the full. It takes understanding to really live and not exist. The difference between those who merely existed and those who really live is understanding. Because understanding is the secret of maximization. If you must maximize your life, you must understand your life. The life you not understand, you will live anyhow. And the life you live anyhow, you not maximize. It takes understanding to be outstanding. It takes understanding to live. And at the end of your life, you have no regret. When you understand life, your pursuit in life will be different in life. Everybody is pursuing money. Everybody is pursuing career success. Everybody is pursuing relationship. Everybody is pursuing one thing or the other. But I want to let you know that your pursuit is because of your understanding you have. If you have a better understanding, your pursuit will be better. If they tell you that you will die in the next three hours, if God Some of you say, I will go and pray for God to tell you if God tell you, so you cannot pray to anybody, which means he started. Am I communicating that way? You hear a voice say, My son, my son. I want you to prepare yourself. You are going to die in the next three hours. I am the Lord your God. I have spoken. You heard it only you in the house. You heard it and you are trying looking here and you cannot see anybody. The whole house was vibrating. My son, my son, I want you to prepare. You are coming back home in the next three hours. I am the Lord, your God. If you hear that voice, what will you do before the three hours expires? Will you go to meet your business counterparts? Will you go to ask your accountant how much you have in the account? No, we are talking about real life issues. Will you go to ask your ma or your children or your say, bring back all my cars. I want to know how many cars I have. Some of you that don't come to church except on Sunday, you will come and meet the church. Say, Pastor, what is it? Don't worry. I want to be the Lord for the next three hours without knowing that you want to die in the altar. That church, you don't come. That's why. Some of you that will come to church and be looking at time, you will you will leave everything. You will not say, I want to go and make my hair. No. You will forget about hairdress. You will forget about every money having this. Everything. You will just come and begin to confess all your sin. Both the one you know and the one you didn't know. And the one you com committed and the one you didn't commit. Three of us. Nobody will think about going to hospital. Say hospital for what? When I'm already going. Nobody will think of wearing the best clothes. Nobody will think of going to make hair. All you will think of is how to amend your way with the Lord. Three of us. If you have three hours to live and you will not use the three hours to go and make sure all the money you have in this will enter your account. You will not use it to go and wear the best of clothes. You will not use it to go and pursue the best, the highest contract. But use it to begin to pray. It means that all those things are useless. The only thing that matters in this world is how to make God happy with your life. Because at that point, you will be faced with the reality.
reality of what is most important. Am I communicating here today? Then you find out that what is most important is even what we don't pursue. We neglect it for what is less important. 